Hey guys, Kendra Summer here hanging out at the Good Guys Show and it's Green Slime Man with this 1949 this is the only surviving car from the movie Grease. Hell's Chariot, the 1949 Mercury Custom, driven by Danny's nemesis, Craterface. And these guys found this on Craigslist. And we have Dave and Scott. Guys, tell me a little bit about this car from the movie Grease. Well, I gotta tell you, we are probably the two luckiest guys on the planet to find a car like this. We found it off a fake ad on Craigslist. We went to look at a different car, and by chance, this was in the building. It didn't look like this. It was an absolute mess. And when we finally had the car authenticated, then we decided to restore it to what you see here. How did you prove that this was actually the movie vehicle? Yeah, we found out that the car belonged to a guy by the name of Bill Kapke, who made 49, 50, and 51 Mercury parts. This was in his, his company, and we ended up buying that shop and found the car in the, the shop. And when Eddie came out and looked at the car, he said, oh my God. After he saw the welding, he said, and if you, unless you were looking over my shoulder 40 years ago, you would have no idea that this is a car. So yes, this is the only surviving car from the movie. He authenticated it, gave us a bill of authenticity, and then we did what you see here. The owner tells us this might be the car that was used in the famous racing scene. The car was up in the air. The whole underside of the car was full of mud. It's probably been there for 40 years. And that's one of the clues that told us was to possibly be the car that they raced in the city. We then went through the painstaking process of restoring the car. Let's get into the nitty gritty. So this 1949 Mercury has a 255 cubic inch flathead V8 engine, three speed manual transmission. The rules are there ain't no rules. And it has those Scorpion stickers applied to both doors. You can't miss the Razor hubcaps. It has a 1950 Mercury grille. The dashboard has been autographed by both Olivia Newton-John, who played Sandy in the film, as well as the movie's director. It was originally a factory hardtop coupe that was converted into a convertible. All of the vehicles used in the movie were relocated to the Paramount backlot. This includes Grease Lightning and the Pink Lady Studebaker. Now fast forward a few years later and the EPA is putting pressure on Paramount to clean up their cars in the back lot. So as a result, a crusher is brought in. But this 1949 Mercury is nowhere to be found. So allegedly, the story goes, a Paramount employee snuck the car out of the lot, thus saving this car. The last we heard, this blockbuster car was up for grabs on Mecum's 2022 auction circuit.